know it's been a while. Uh, you have every right to be angry at me, but uh, like I said before, I did an update to my computer and I messed up my server, so I haven't been able to actually get into and modding, and I just haven't had enough time to figure it out. So eventually what I ended up doing is I moved the server onto a separate computer, less powerful computer that I had access to, and the server is up and running. So uh, I went ahead and decided that I needed to show you what we're running towards right now. And uh, as you can see, or you might not be able to place it because I've already done some of the changes, is that we're coming to Pyrewood Village. So one of the things that I wanted to do, given that I do have the uh, Gilnean mod on the other side of the wall, um, I wanted to start to use some of the buildings that I've made for Gil Gilneas. So this is my Gilnean version of the little standalone house. Uh, and that's been developed. I've, I've got a couple of variations on that. Um, yep, yeah, and they look funny and quirky, but I think it matches, and they're uh, pretty damn close to the ones that you find in Cataclysm anyways. And um, so, yep, yeah, so looking inside uh, the outside right now, I'm thinking about changing the wall. We'll be changing the palisades probably... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go ahead and do a the the same type of uh, wood that is used for the buildings or the wood color for a new version of the Palisade or whether uh, we'll do a wall. I, I want to take a look at the version in um, in Cataclysm and see what the what the external walls look like. So there are some buildings here that we're going to have to make the variation for Gilneas, but yes, there has been some changes. So essentially where there were small houses, I have replaced them with the uh, the different variants that, that I made. Um, and I'm also using um, some other models uh, that I used previously for my uh, Gilneas uh, build. And the town hall, um, it's all it, it all fits pretty well. I do still have to, you know, I was testing it out a bit, so I need to remove some of the fences, need to reposition um, some doodads and whatnot. It's still very, very rough and early stages, but it is one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that Pyre would um, took on a bit more of like that Gilneas uh, feeling. And I'm also not entirely sure if I'm going to switch all of the surrounding trees around this area as well. I probably won't do all of Pyre of all of Silver Pine Woods, but maybe um, the trees around um, uh, around Pyrewood and maybe some of the trees that are in front of the Gilneans gates. Oh, here's another building that I actually did uh, as well, which has two different interiors. So I need to go in, I need to move the NPCs, and uh, yeah, start dressing the interiors and moving some of these uh, objects out of the way. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, there's still a couple of things that uh, need to be done. There's a couple of buildings I think that need uh, ultimately to be replaced. Um, but that's it. It's, uh, it's, it's coming along nicely. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to maybe update the textures for Silver Pine Forest itself, or if I'm going to change the trees themselves. I'm going to need a new version of the blacksmiths as well, which is great because, you know, the more the merrier. And um, we should be kind of good to go. There's going to be some changing of the fences, uh, the exterior wall, um, and it'll be cool. It'll be good to have all of that ready. But anyways, that's it uh, for right now. So uh, until next time, everybody, take it easy, have fun, and I'll see you soon.